coalition of groups supporting immigration, immigrant rights celebrated the removal of two signs in Market Square. The signs represented the Colcom Foundation as sponsors of the holiday market. Those groups say that Colcom has been funding anti-immigrant organizations. Brenda Waters has more on this story. There were two Colcom signs here at the Holiday Market here in Market Square, one above Santa's house and the other one above the main stage. Both are now gone. That was a great victory, and I think that we should all be very proud of the hard work that went into that. The coalition of groups, including the Labor Council for Latin American Advancement and Casa San Jose, initially protested in the square Monday. Now that the signs are down, they celebrate a giant step, but say more needs to be done about the Colcom Foundation and other groups like it. It's not that these groups don't do good work, they do good work, but the association with white supremacy is just not acceptable. It's not what Pittsburgh about and especially some say during the holiday season. So we can't let Colcom determine what the holidays mean and by associating with them we are allowing their message and their mission to infiltrate our beautiful holiday peace. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, Colcom has provided nearly 20 million dollars to several causes including three national organizations that have been identified as hate groups. I went to the offices today at Gateway Center, but found the suite was locked and mail sitting outside the door. But I did get a call from John Rowe, the vice president of philanthropy for the Colcom Foundation. He said, the foundation has no tolerance for discrimination. All must be treated with equal dignity. Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.